Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So now we will start our new topic that is electric flux. So talking about electric flux, first of all I would like to give you an example. One example for you that let's suppose we are having a area here. Okay. In this area we are having a small element of vector area. Okay. Let's suppose this is a watermelon. And we are making a patch in it okay patch in watermelon so this is a small element of watermelon means small element of vector this one then this is a complete area around that so what we will do we will take a small element of vector and put into what we will put into electric lines of forces like these are electric lines of forces that's going here this is a test charge okay here if we will put it near or put this one a small element far away from the charge okay it pass these lines of forces pass from this small element of area is called electric flux means the total number of lines of forces passing through a small element of vector area is called electric flux so let's start writing a definition of it that the total number of electric lines of forces of forces passing through a small element of alley meant of vector area is called electric flux okay so this is called electric flux so after that uh, there is an in another words we can say that the dot product of electric intensity and a small element of vector area or patch means to taking out a patch from that one area is called electric flux talking about its nature talking about its nature first of all it's a scalar quantity scalar quantity it's scalar quantity secondly it's a dot product third just wait third is it is denoted by denoted by a word that is a phi what is phi you can pronounce phi or phi so i i am making that the alphabet here that symbol here because in keyboard it's not available so it's making like in this one position like first of all we will make an i okay then we will circle that one i okay this is called phi or some people are also making it like in this one position okay so it's not looking too good so the proper symbol of electric flux is this one okay and it's called phi after that moving to next mathematically how we can write question all right that mathematically mathematically how we can write so mathematically we can write this is an electric flux i am just writing e i am not making a diagram of electric uh, symbol of electric flux because it's not available now so this is an electric flux is equal to electric intensity and small in element of area okay mathematically we can write in this one position okay or we can also write it electric flux is equal to electric intensity dot products will put dot small element of vector Talking about its unit, its 
unit is like the units of electric intensity in newton meter so here the unit is newton coulomb means or not newton meter newton coulomb newton per coulomb and area is meter square so we write newton newton meter square per coulomb okay this is the unit of electric flux talking about its dimension dimension of electric flux dimension of electric flux so dimension is firstly we will open it so newton we are having kilogram meter per second square is called newton okay second square is newton okay after that one meter square remaining so we will write meter square one coulomb is remaining one coulomb is equal to ampere second okay now we will join it all so we'll write kilogram meter cube upon ampere second cube okay after that kilogram means meter so we'll write m sorry mass meter means length so l ml power 3 air second cube is in upon when it inverts so it will minus 3 so we will write it t minus 3 ok and ampere a minus 1 so this is the dimension of electric flux m l3 t minus 3 a minus 1 ok talking about magnitude magnitude of electric flux so magnitude of electric flux is a place of electric flux i cannot write the make the sample of electric flux so i am just writing uh, e over here okay or i should write completely electric flux okay electric flux is always equal to cos theta means x axis so we'll write electric flux is equal to its magnitude in x axis will be cos theta so we'll write electric flux is equal to electric intensity dot because it's a dot product small element of vector area and after that cos theta okay so we have written this cos theta so this is a magnitude of electric flux now i have some of the questions that i have made that's not in a book at all so I am just writing a quotient just wait so we will start here here are the some questions that I have written that if angle is equal to 0 degree if angle is equal to 90 degree if greater than 180 greater than 90 greater than 0 less than 0 is equal to 26 and in fourth quadrant flux is equal to so we have taken just remember that we have taken here cos theta so in angle we will just see x axis okay so here uh, not we cannot see uh, we will not see x axis we will directly do like if angle is equal to 0 degree so on 0 degree our angle is equal to 1 okay so what we will do 8 here cos theta is the place of cos theta here we will put cos 1 so cos 1 is all uh, again equal to e and all the things will remain same so it means if angle is equal to 0 degree so the electric flux will be maximum okay but if angle is equal to 90 degree so electric flux is equal to 0 because 90 degree is equal to 0 when it multiply with this all cos uh, 90 just wait here we will write the cos 90 and 90 is equal to 0 0 and multiply ea so it will remain 0 so if angle is equal to 90 degrees so our angle will be minimum okay maximum on 0 minimum on 90 degree and if our angle is greater than 180 okay if it's greater than 180 so let me make a one just x axis and y axis diagram here remember that it's a x positive and y positive okay we will not count negative negative okay because we have taken cos theta here we are having 90 degree here we are having 180 degree 
here we are having 270 degree third quadrant and fourth quadrant we are having 360 degree okay so it says that if angle is greater than 180 degree okay it says that greater than 180 okay so we will just count x negative 2 I should write x negative okay so if it's greater than 180 so it's coming in a third quadrant 180 in second quadrant greater than 180 on third quadrant on third quadrant we are having 270 so it means greater than 180 so it's 270 third quadrant in third quadrant x is coming negative okay so it means if angle is greater than 180 so it will negative in which quadrant in third quadrant if angle is greater than 90 degree okay 90 degree greater than so it means 180 so in 180 it's again negative and second quadrant so we will write here negative and second quadrant okay if angle is greater than 0 degree means it is, this is the initial point 0 degree 0 degree means 90 degree so angle will be the positive and it will be the first quadrant and it says that if it's less than 0 degree means downward so it will be the 360 degree so it will come in 40 fourth quadrant and it will be x will be positive so we will again write here positive and fourth quadrant okay move to next if angle is equal to 262 means between this one in 270 okay 262 so angle will be negative and it will be in third quadrant okay and it says that that in fourth quadrant electric flux is so this is our fourth quadrant 360 so here our axis positive so it means electric flux will be also positive so this is the method to find electric flux okay that means if angle is equal to 0 its maximum or 90 its minimum how we can find electric flux we will put cos theta cos theta is equal to x if we will put sin theta so sin theta is equal to y so according to y we can find it so but now we have find according to x hope you understand today's lecture about electric flux its nature mathematically its unit its dimension and its magnitude thank you so much for listening